from the finished work. Through this week, we have uh, considered the truth of identification. And as we said, this is a truth that God decided and God has created or brought into being. He thought this through and in the mind of God, this was a settled fact. And in time, and Christ died uh, uh, and, and God identified us with Jesus and everything that Jesus did is a finished work. It is completed reality. Now it is up to you and me to live out of this finished work. You see, the way God works is he completes the work in the realm of the spirit. And you and I who live in time, he tells us to live out of the work he has completed. So he says, you're already dead to sin. So now live as people who are indeed dead to sin. You have been raised up with Christ. So now live as people who are walking in newness of life. Live as people who are living from heaven downwards to the earth. Live as people who have authority vested in them because they are seated at the right hand of the Father. And so you and I must make a choice to live out of this finished work in our everyday life. So what are its practical implications? First of all, when you're dealing with sin in life, you look at it that sin will no longer have dominion over you. There is nothing that you cannot conquer. There is no habit, there is no temptation that you cannot overcome. Because the Bible says that the power of sin over your life has been broken. When you look at uh, your lifestyle, the Bible says we're walking in newness of life, you're walking in a new way of life. The old is gone. This is a new way of life. So you I, I can reject anything of the old. Don't accept anything of the old that tries to come in and hold you down. It's gone. You say that you're going to walk in newness of life. Similarly, do not conform yourself to the patterns of the world. There may be the pressures around you to live according to the ways of the world and the standards of this world. But the Bible says that we are, uh, we are not to be conformed, but we are to be transformed. We live by heaven, heaven's perspectives. And also, when you face the challenges of life, the storms of life, the adversities of life, um, the uh, opposition of the enemy, you live as somebody with authority. You reign in life through Jesus Christ. You live by the, your position at the right hand of the Father. So I want to encourage you. Identification is a powerful truth. God has done it. It is spiritual reality. It's now up to you and me to live out of the finished work of Christ on the cross. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you'll help us to live out of this finished work, to live out of the spiritual truth in our everyday lives. Let the power of this finished work touch us and touch every aspect of our daily lives. In Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.